It's 9 a.m. from Fox 35. This is Good Day Orlando. Uh, on the Health Watch, you know what? It's not just women who need to worry about their biological clock. New research shows that men do as well. People used to think, you know, guys could reproduce basically up until the moment they die. But uh, last year alone, Mick Jagger had his eighth baby at 73. Kelsey Grammer welcomed baby number seven at 61 years old. So, you know, there's some guys out there getting it done, so good for them. New researchers research say if guys want to start a family, they may want to start a little earlier, though. Study results show that men aged 30 to 35 have an average birth rate of 73%. That number drops to less than half for men 40 to 42 years old. Fertility specialist Dr. Mark Trollis is joining us down to talk about this. Aren't those numbers a little bit, you know, um, confusing because it, it, the older a guy gets, the less likely a woman who wants to have a baby is going to want to have, you know, babies with this older guy. Exactly. Is that probably right? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And, and so <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm accurate in that. So that was difficult with the initial studies to know if it was the woman or the man. We right. always thought it was the woman. Uh, when you see celebrities like Mick Jagger, uh, it, it's biasing the public and making them think that men can have indefinite right. fertility. Because guys don't, not all guys have the same game that Mick Jagger has. You know, I'm with the Rolling Stones. Well, you know what? You're probably going to do all right with women. I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. Yes. Probably. <laughs> probably. Yeah. So that's the quote of the rock star. But, right. Uh, we've known about male fertility issues since probably the early 2000s. Studies came out showing that the, the paternity rate was lower in men that were getting uh, above 40. Do, okay. Physically, something drops off. Yeah. Okay. We know from the sperm analysis, actually, you see the morphology, which is the shapes and the motility going down. Uh -huh. This study that just came out is being presented at the, uh, uh, in Switzerland, the, the European Society of Human Reproduction and Embryology. IVF patients were looked at. In vitro uh, fertilization, right? That's right, in vitro fertilization. So in the early 2000s, this was natural cycles, looking at men who were just trying to conceive, and it showed that they were lower success as they got older. Gotcha. And they did stratify it to women that were younger. Older men, younger women, not as good a pregnancy rate as younger men. Gotcha. Is there anything that... Oh, go ahead. But with IVF, this was over seven, 8,000 cycles they're looking at, and they did analyze the success. If a man was older, okay? Yeah. Even with a younger woman, they had an 11% lower success rate. So male fertility does not maintain its youth forever. Yeah, well, I would guess that would, I, everything gets a little older. Anything we could do, you know, push-ups? Nothing, nothing we can do. We, uh, I mean, obviously, maintaining a healthy style is the usual yeah. answer. But important thing to understand, Bob, is that as a man gets older, we're seeing evidence of increasing genetic abnormalities, okay? They're having uh, uh, gene problems in growth. Uh, Down syndrome, but also autism and schizophrenia and miscarriage are you. higher okay. as a man gets older. Some people have even started to talk about should men freeze their sperm like women well, are freezing they're, their they're eggs. In their 20s and 30s. We don't have enough data to, to uh, recommend that right now uh -huh. as a cost-effective measure, but it's definitely important to realize that it's not just the woman. Let me uh, just do this. If uh, people want to get in touch with you, they got some other questions about this that we didn't cover here because we only have a few minutes. How can they do that? Well, we're at at the IVFcenter.com and I'm at Dr. Mark Charles on Twitter. Okay, very good. Good to see you as always. Thanks for coming in and thanks for bringing in your kids. You have five so kids. Cute. Holy cow. <laughs> good for you. No problems there. Amy Caulfield. And very well behaved. <laughs> 922 right now.